Okay, chapter 10, 10.1, the De Bruyne wavelength. So, example 1, we have the photoelectric effect. Experiment a light source of wavelength 550 nanometer is incident on the sodium surface. Determine the momentum and the energy of the photon used. Okay, so kita nak cari dia punya momentum. Diberi wavelength. Jadi, awak boleh gunalah momentum P is equal to H over wavelength. So, H is 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34. Divided by wavelength is 550 times 10 to the power of negative 9. Okay. So, sepatutnya, you akan dapatlah jawapan yang sama dengan saya lah. Ha, ni direct je ni. Okay. So, 1.21 lah. 1.21 times 10 to the power of negative 27 lah. Unit kg ms negative 1. Ni adalah unit momentum. Okay, so next question. They ask you about energy of photon. So, energy of photon is E is equal to Hc over wavelength. So, H is 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34 times with 3 times 10 to the power of 8 and then divide by the wavelength is 550 times 10 to the power of negative 9. Okay? Dia tak nak dalam electron volt kan? So, just leave in joule pun tak apa. Okay, negative 34 times with 3.4 3 times the power of 8 lah. 3 times 10 to the power of 8 and divide by 550 exponent negative 9. So, 3.6 2 times 10 to the power of negative 19. Okay. Okay. Alright. So next example 2. Calculate the De Broglie wavelength for this. Okay, make sure kalau nak kira apa-apa, mesti tukar dalam UNSI dululah. So dia nak uh, De Broglie wavelength. So wavelength is equal to H over P. Dia bagi speed kan? Okay, dia bagi speed kembangkan lagi H is equal to MV. So H is 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34. Divide by mass is 77 and then times with 4.1 times 10 to power, oh sorry, 4.1 je lah. Oh, banyak betul lah saya nak kira, okay. So, direct je. Okay, terus dah dapat nilai. Okay, 6.63 exponent negative 34. Divide by 77 and divide by 4.1. Okay, 2.1 times 10 to power of 2.1. Times 10 to the power of negative 36 meter. Ui. Ini dia. Right.